Miss Gamber and her daughter were not treated with humane dignity. Unfortunately, this kind of treatment is all too familiar to indigenous people across the country. What happened to Pearl and her daughter proves that indigenous lives continue to be less important than others in Alberta's healthcare system. This has to change, and I am, take, I am asking Alberta's new premier to work with us to make that change. As you see, uh, Big Stone Cree member Pearl Gambler and her daughter received inhumane treatment at Misericordia Community Hospital in Edmonton. As you have heard, her left to deliver her baby was left to deliver her baby alone. Her child was left to die alone. And the hospital still refuses to acknowledge Saga Hittuin's live birth. These events have been incredibly traumatic for Ms. Gambler, and she spent a lot of time working to get to the place where she can sit here in front of everybody and tell her story and deal with the opens wounds every time she talks about it. And she's done a lot of work, and so she's now at the point where she can have the strength to go through this process. And until now, it's been very, it wouldn't have been possible for her. Events that happened here would not have happened to, to me as a Caucasian woman. The lack of recognition of her daughter's life and her value as a mother to comfort her daughter while she died, I suggest those facts speak for themselves amongst the other details that Pearl went through. For example, her daughter being called a specimen. There's a lack of humanity in her treatment. Everybody here in this world was brought here by a woman. I think there needs to be a high respect for a woman, especially our Indigenous women. My daughter should have not had to fight for her life because I'm Indigenous. She should have had the fair treatment like anybody else that comes into that hospital. So if this happens to any other woman, I encourage them to speak up.